can we talk about the fact that this potato, this potato toy has always opened from the back? Have you seen that shit? That's gay. That's super gay. You can't have a potato open up that wide in the back. Yeah, Miss Potato Head has to pack it for him, but who else is packing it? That's all I'm saying. So two of my favorite YouTubers already made videos about this, but I wanted to touch on it real quick because I think it's hilarious that this is even a discussion and that conservatives are worried about this when it's a potato. February 25th, the Potato Head Company released this brand change and these new products where it's it's basically a 21st century rebrand they call it um, where you get three potatoes two parents and one kid kids should be able to create their own families and you know not have to be pushed into this little like narrative of what a family should be for them I mean there's only three potatoes in this set but it just opens up the opportunity to make the parents different genders. So there are lots of kids who have non-binary parents or, you know, lesbian parents or gay parents. As a logo designer, I will definitely I would definitely have to say the new logo is, is much better. I don't know what is going on with this last one. I do not want anything to do with the Potato Head Company when I look at this last logo. So I've collected some of my favorite tweet replies that people have commented on because after this initial release, Hasbro commented again saying, don't worry, we're not getting rid of Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. And a lot of people thought that maybe they were like coming back on what they were saying before, like they were trying to be inclusive and then they got backlash so they were going back. But I think the company probably was never going to get rid of Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. They have way too many like cis straight parents that really enjoy that. This, however, is definitely not detrimental to the company. They're changing the logo and their name because not all the Potato Head products are male products. Why would you name the whole company Mr. Potato Head? You're just disregarding her and the children. Think about the children potatoes. Do you ever think about that? This reply is so funny. You don't have to do this. Don't have to do- what? Why are you making it sound so serious? It's a toy! Funny how people are freaking out over a toy that's always encouraged removing and swapping body parts. These are like fun, weird, like you just stick a bunch of stuff together and it makes a weird amalgamation character and people are like, you can't have it be gender neutral. What? And you're telling me that's not somewhat trans related? Parents in great majority are not some gender neutral, pansexual, zealots of wokeness. Zealots. If they start to pander to the crowd who is not their customers, they'll make no money. Simple as that. Smiley face. There are actually so many gender neutral parents. So many queer, homosexual parents. Maybe you just haven't heard about it or you just don't know anyone because you are you haven't stepped out of your circle at all someone was clearly bitter will you be removing the bro from hasbro as well some things defy logic and this is one of them grow some balls what <laughs> is that an argument sir please please jeff this is a toy company i'm sure they have more balls than you <laughs> thanks to sticking to your guns we can't lose another icon due to someone's weak feelings. What? An icon. In case you guys didn't know, Mr. Potato Head is an icon. And changing his name is disrespecting his gender, his pronouns. That's disrespectful. How dare you besmirch an icon? What a great way to lose customers. If people are offended by being called Mr. or Mrs., then they need to reevaluate their lives. In general, people are already forced into the Mr. and Mrs. boxes on a continual basis. So, no, I don't think people are upset that there's a Mr. and Mrs. Potato Head. Y'all need Jesus before it's too late. Honey, it is too late at this point. And this reply is the best. Jesus said unto them, those who have never dressed Mr. Potato Head in gender neutral clothing, cast the first stone. This is a passage in the Bible, uh, basically about like, don't, don't be a hypocrite and cast hatred on people when you're doing the exact same thing. And so I just think it's funny. <laughs> I had Mr. Potato Head when I was younger and I can tell you right now I wasn't making Mr. and Mrs. I was just mixing them up and making them weird. That That's honestly the funnest way. I'm so sure that a lot of these straight cis people now, they didn't care about the gender of their 
the potatoes when they were little, they were just putting pieces on. So all of that being said, I think this is just an insane, insanely funny thing that people are getting offended over a children's toy name being changed by two letters. Show me Mr. Potato's schlong. Show me it. You can't, can you? All you can show me is a gaping hole in his ass. So tell me, tell me what that means. Today's octopus fact is that octopuses do not eat potatoes, as far as I know. I don't think they would ever eat them. In case that was something you needed to know, yeah, they don't eat potatoes. However, they do taste really good with potatoes. I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.